Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Boy, what a difference a day makes. Perfect timing. Getting towards the end of a charging day here. Beautiful conditions. You can see the sun starting to dip down to the west. All my solar panels. They put in their work today. There's the four that we've been working on the last couple of videos. Seven going to the 48 volt system. This one going to that freezer system. And uh, yeah, let me show you the logs looking so good. Even a little 24 volt system I had out here. Uh, and I actually tied in this one, which is one I'd pulled off of here not wanting to give up on any of them. It tested okay. Uh, and I still have three of them that are kind of, I don't, I'm not sure about yet, of course. But anyway, these worked great today. Got the 24 volt system up. And uh, yeah, the voltage issue is resolved. But they're about to start catching some shade here. What's that sun? You can see these trees here. Next few minutes, they'll start shading these. But yeah, all my systems are up in one day to where they need to be. Which makes me a very happy guy. Okay, here we are just a couple days later. Look at that. In absorption. This is the very end of the charging day, though. And uh, yeah. All right, here we are. 100% full. Still getting 119 watts, holding the voltage at 14.2. There's the thing that was eluding us before, and we've got good voltage once again by replacing those four panels. And there's what it looks like today. Now, of course, these days prior were dark and cloudy, but uh, as you guys know, we had a voltage issue uh, the, today was a great day. Everything came back like it should on a great day. 1.40 kilowatt hours. You can see on 400 watts, I did catch 402 watts briefly. Uh, but then I had a lot of sustained sunshine and those four panels held it all around 360 all day long. Took it right up to 14.2. And that's where we're at right now. 24 volt system, which I showed you was behind there. It had a really great day as well. And interestingly enough, like I mentioned, I used one of those panels that I took down just to tie it in there to see how it would do on this system. Doing fine, it's catching like I showed you, tons and tons of shade right now, but still really, really good. Looking great. 24 volt system is now running that refrigerator freezer uh, every day for the last few days and look what it got up to today. Boy, you can't complain about that. So yeah, I just took <laughs> one of those that I'd pulled down of these five randomly, which was whichever one was in front of here and tied it back in there to make a third in series for that 20 volt. 24 volt system and it worked perfectly. So yeah, we'll do some checking on diodes, of course. But to be catching great solar on a day like today and everything's up and running, I'm happy. And the end of a charging day means uh, animals are hungry and they know what time it is. So yeah, caught some good sunshine today. Oh, what, you're looking scared. Here you go. You guys are missing out. It's happening underneath the magic tree every day. At the end of a solar charging day, magic food falls from the lemon tree. And you think they don't know that? They're waiting for me out here when it's this time of day. Look how they've grown. Yeah. <laughs> Little boogers. All right, you guys, I'll catch you later. 
Thanks as always for tuning in. Yeah, the magic tree. <laughs> uh, and I'll, yeah, you know what I mean. Aloha, everybody. <laughs>